I continued to focus on the fight, except... I accidentally dropped the metal bat. Oh, you dunderhead. I don't believe it. What a plonker. What a plonker. Alrighty. Welcome back, any and everybody. Oops, a lot. This is Lynn and Otter, here to do another episode of Fatal Force. Oops. You left off in the middle of a car conversation. Oh, nice rendition. So, when did you get bitten? You're a hybrid as well, yeah? I was still curious about the hybrid deal. It's not an everyday occurrence to hear about anyways, or any of this from that matter. I hold the bottle of orange ginger juice and continue sipping as I listen to Draveyard. Oh, actually, I've never been been. Huh? Wait, so that means... <laughs> I... I guess I was born with this. He was scratching his head while looking at me. So if he didn't get bitten, and he was just born with these things, then for Draveyard's case... It comes from your parents? Hold on. Let me, uh... Let it... Is it me, or is the music just louder than normal? Yep, when I was a child, or I guess, pup, given that the, given that's the term you humans use for canines, I was raised by my mother. I thought my mother was human until I learned that she was a werewolf. On that day, she got killed in front of me by another werewolf. I stopped my drinking when I listened to the tragic stories of his life. Yeah, I'll say, I can't imagine how that feels... Someone you love just killed, right in front of you, dead. The closest I've gotten is my mom passing a long time ago from cancer, but even then, I had a chance to say goodbye. Ah, oh, Draveyar, you've gone through so much. I, I'm really sorry. I mean it. <laughs> I look at his face. He seems rather calm about it. No tears, nothing. I guess he's gotten over it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's okay. But thanks. So then, where's your father? He's a beastman, I assume? He is. Though, I never met him. Nor do I know where, he, where it is. <laughs> Nor do I know what has happened to him. I did ask my mother about my father. She told me that. Whoa. That every time she looked at me, she would see my father, but just a different color of fur. What color? Mm. I think blue. <clears throat> I think blue. Blue. I also think that I need some water and my timer. Holy crud. Yeah. <clears throat> Dark blue? Dark blue? I don't remember. And my mother didn't tell me anything specifically about him except for one thing. Uh, about a certain place. His tone started to drop. I could tell he was becoming really serious about it again. I know he keeps hiding about it, but right now I think everything gets... more. Hmm? I know he keeps trying to hide it, but everything is starting to make more sense. Hmm. Oh, the land of the wolf. The land of the wolves. One of the places of the hidden world. <laughs> You're still wondering whether that place exists or not, aren't you? He smirked and he began to return to his cool side. <laughs> didn't I? Or didn't you? I gave a light smile to him and continued sipping my drink. Well, yeah. I'm still uncertain what that place really is, and where it's located. But my mother would say that one day, if I do manage to find it, and manage to go in there, do not seek revenge on their people. Once again, I stopped my drinking and began to get confused with that statement. 
What, what do you mean by revenge? I mean, if I do find a way in, I'm most likely going to find an answer as to what happened to my father. There's a very high possibility that he's already dead. Probably killed by someone. Uh, who knows? And you're just fine with that? Uh-huh. <laughs> he flicked his ears and cocked his head at me. At me. <clears throat> Gosh, I was streaming earlier and my voice is a little sore. I thought it would be a chance to warm up my voice, but... I mean, if both your mom and dad were murdered, did you ever try to find out who the killer was? What the heck was that? He sighed after I asked. You see, I already know who killed my mother, and I still remember it clearly since I was the one who killed him. What? As for my father, no. I didn't say he was actually killed. I'm only suggesting that he might have I'm only suggesting that he might have been killed. Still, you did have revenge for your mother. Surely it'd just naturally run its course once you're in the hidden world, right? You're wrong. I didn't kill him for vengeance. He lowered his voice a little bit. I actually be killed him because at the time he was after me too. It automatically triggered my beast side and my beast side to kill him. It was self-defense, which isn't the same as revenge. It just looks like it. I feel like I'm starting to regret asking him about this. He's been through a lot, just trying to process himself and to survive. Just want to make sure it's still picking up my audio. Okay. Dravyar slowly looked away from me. He's trying to avoid me. Oh, dear no. I hurt his feelings, didn't I? You know, even though I'm considered a monster, I still feel like a human at times. I miss my mother. Ah, oh. oh, crap, what have I done? Yeah, you're kind of being a little too, you know, crying too much. For someone who's always, for someone who's been almost always happy or stern, I've never seen him trembling before. Oh, I was shaking, trying to hold off his thoughts. J Dreyfjar? Aww. Without hesitation, I get close to him and give him a hug. Aww. He seems to be shocked by it. Rin. His voice felt like he was on the verge of crying. He was holding it in still. Oh, what the heck is this? <laughs> oh. Slowly, his arms followed through in reply. He was trying to hug back. Oh. But he suddenly stops midway. His hand moves from my sides to my head and started petting me lightly. Oh. I look up at his face. He was trying to smile, though I can still feel the sadness in his eyes. I bet he's already been through a lot in his life. Chief, hold on! What just happened to you, Crash? Suddenly, I could hear a woman screaming. Dreyfell pulled me up to his chest. He was bracing me from the sudden impact. Oh, jeez, yeah. Ugh, what's going on? He looks like he's smiling. <laughs> Something is approaching us. Oops. He whipped out a knife from his jacket. W what are you doing? Look, stay quiet, and no matter what happens, stay in the car. He slit his head and quickly slathered a little of his blood on my head. My head. Wait, what? He slit his hand and quickly slathered a little bit of his blood on my head. What was he doing? Ah. <sighs> By the prayer upon thee, secret technique art of the wolves, hidden. Oh, so that's what he did back at the host hostel. He actually, he actually, he did actually make himself invisible to others. 
Was he hiding me with the scent of his blood? I know you'll be able to hear me, Rin, but remember, absolutely do not leave this car. He pushed open the door, stepped out and slammed the door. He seemed to be in a serious rush. What is going on here? Lisa? What's happening? She didn't respond. Man, I really wish I could see what's happening outside, but I can't. I forgot this car is, uh... Oh, it's uh, one of those, you know, privacy type cars. What the hell is that? Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Just, just stay patient. Javier will come back soon. Well, no, actually. He never said he was coming back. Holy f***ing hell. It felt like something just hit the vehicle. Oh, jeez. This car seems to almost be a tank. The impact seems to have done nothing to it. Oh, good thing I stayed in the car. Seems like everyone in the car is alright. What the heck? He will die. Huh? What? Who was that? In a panic... In a panic, I tried to look around me. I swiveled my head around. I, I would have assumed Ziaru, given he always likes doing those pranks on me, but he's not here. Did it... Did it just go silent outside? It's all over, dearie. I could hear it again. Who the hell is it? Ah! Uh! Javier? Is he in trouble? I could hear him screaming out in pain. I... I need to go out and see. I need something, though. I shouldn't just go out there without protecting myself. I started digging inside the, around the seat area. I wish I could find something, like a, a baseball bat? A metallic bat? Oh, why in the world is it inside a car? Oh, oh, he did find something. Wish I could find something, like a baseball bat? A metallic bat? Oh, why in the world is it inside a, the car? Uh, whatever. It's certainly far better than nothing. I push open the door and slowly exit the vehicle. No, oh, he said not to. I could see at the front of the car, two beasts facing each other. Against each other. Wait, is that the werewolf who attacked me before? Time for some action. Why is that werewolf here? Oh, what the heck? Oh, nice. Oh, well, not nice. The wolf continued to attack Draviar as he countered the wolf with his hand. Oh, <laughs> take this. Oh, and this. <laughs> oh, whoa. Damn, he even understands martial arts well, huh? Oh, he even understands martial arts well, huh? Whoa, what is this? Where did this action suddenly get to come into? I was fixated on their fighting pattern for a bit, then checked back in the car to find Lisa and Tony. Gone? Uh, Ziaro's also not here, though I guess he might have an enchantment for the three of them. I continued to focus on the fight, except... I accidentally dropped the metal bat. Oh, you dunderhead. I don't believe it. What a plonker. What a plonker. It clangs against the ground, and the night suddenly fell silent. No. Oh. The dark brown werewolf turned to the sound and started bolting towards me. Well, crap. <gasps> Zyaru, Zyaru, what the hell are you doing? I told you to stay in the car. Eh? Wait, Ziaru? Why is he shouting Ziaru's name? He's looking at me too. The werewolf was still charging at me, but now I'm more confused? Wait a second, I think I know what they're doing. Javier, you... I think I already figured it out somehow. Oh, jeez. <laughs> jeez um. I think I heard a gunshot from far away. I can't tell where it came from, though. Oh! Hey! 
That must be Mickey. He manages to shoot that world from far away, I think. Yeah, looks like it. Ziaru! Now! The werewolf was hit. Mickey must have nailed him. Suddenly, I see a boulder flying towards the werewolf. What in the heck? <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Ziaru was carrying it and hurled it straight at the werewolf. Jeez, um, the stone slammed the werewolf, sending it sideways and driving it down into the ground. What in the world did I just see? What is happening? Draviar stood still there. Judging by his appearance, he seemed pretty satisfied with the result. Suddenly, Draviar turned around and walked up to me, picking up the metal bat that I had dropped on accident. <sighs> Don't worry about it, bud. There's nothing to worry about now. He lightly poked my head, and I could feel something light go down my body. It seems I've returned to being visible again. Uh. So, uh, what now? I asked. Javier gave me his charming smile and turned back to walk back to the werewolf. What's with all this different art? This came out of nowhere. Javier raises the bat and gives it a swing. Ooh. And it turned into a huge sword. It feels like I'm watching an action movie, except now, real. I can feel the trembling air down on my skin. The amount of euphoria going down me was immense. I'm certainly never going to forget this day. Javier pointed his sword to the werewolf that was still on the ground, unable to stand. Uh, you want to kill him, Javier? I asked, and I mean, that's probably a stupid question. But at least I know now. But at least I no now know who's the one who bit me. No. I need to do some judgment first. Whoa. He held the sword across his face, resting one hand on the end of the blade and his other on the handle. Dude, I can't... So many... Uh, what do you call it? Um, <laughs> thumbnail opportunities. I don't know which one I'm going to go with. The sword's blade was like a mirror, reflecting the lights of the werewolf who seemed to have been trying to avoid looking at it. Judgment? Which is scream... Javier leapt backwards suddenly. He seems to have been trying to avoid something. The atmosphere was changing. I don't know how I know, but I can feel something sinister happening. Time is stopping again. Wait. Again? Everyone! Take cover! I have no idea what he's talking about, but I'm not going to bother questioning. I began to bolt away. Within a second, I was about to realize why. A massive lightning bolt struck everywhere around the area. Oh god. Run. Just keep just keep running. Just keep running. Then I trip and fall. Crap, 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 crap. I can see a huge lightning bolt blazing towards me. I'm gonna die. Run! Javier grabbed me by my arm and hauled me away, just barely avoiding the lightning. Oh, he saved me. He was carrying me like a baby. My face was squished up against his chest and I could hear his heartbeat. It feels like I'm flying. He was gripping onto me tightly, making sure I wasn't going to fall as he was bounding. He stopped running and took cover under the, an area where the lightning could not strike, not far from where we left the car. Now I'm wondering about the lightning. Is it some sort of enchantment? Is everyone okay? I start looking around the area that still had lightning. Meanwhile, Dra me, Draviar put me down slowly. Uh, Lisa, Tony, and Ziaru, we need to save them. Don't worry about them. They know how to handle situations like this. He explained. He looked back to the lightning struck area. Yeah, kind, kinda. Mickey. You're late. Gah, gah. 
Gah! Gah! Hey, at least I did the job properly, even from a distance. <sighs> yeah, that's fair. Your aim is quite impeccable. Draveyard gives praise to Mickey, and it seems Mickey's trying to hide his... Oh, Draveyard gives praise to Mickey, and it seems Mickey's trying to hide his blushing. Now that I think about it, though, how the heck did he get here? Oh, huh. Zero, zero's behind Mickey, who's just sleeping inside some kind of backpack? Damn, Zero can somehow go from yeeting boulders and watching lightning bolts coming streaming down from the sky to asleep, just like that. Mickey, how far were you when you made that shot? Huh? What do you mean? Considering that Zero's already here, that means you already were alerted to what was going to happen. Mickey sh Mickey shocked. Hmm. Mickey looked shocked and flicked his ears. Draveyard, still looking at the never-ending lightning, put his hand on his muzzle, thinking. Um, not far. Just two kilometers from here. What? what That's extremely damn far! Now, I don't know any handgun that can properly hit a target at three quarters that distance, let alone hit a target perfectly in a group of people. Is he using a special handgun for sniping? Oh, and as for why I eventually got here. After I took the shot... I felt that something wasn't right, so I just rushed over. I knew things were going to get well. I knew things were going to get even more problematic when I heard Draveyard shouting, so I only managed to grab the closest person to me, which was Yaru. <laughs> yep, the Lisa and Mister Lame Four Eyes were rushing to go inside the car, anyways. Four Eyes? Maybe he's referring to Tony. So Lisa and Tony are safe. I mean, maybe. I'm not sure about the lightning that's continuously nailing it over and over again. Uh, don't worry about it. They're fine. That car is pretty resistant against lightning strikes. Specifically? D Draveyard, is the lightning like an enchantment? I asked and Draveyard started to approach the lightning. Uh, probably. Though it's better suited to call it a curse. A curse? Well... Do you know the stories of the legendary Blair Witch and how it ended? And not the movie version, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I was about to mention that. Indeed, I watched that movie before. Blair Witch. The backstory of the film was a legend fabricated by two people, which is detailed in The Curse of the Blair Witch. The legend describes the killings and disappearances of some of the residents of Blair, Maryland. The legend, huh? A fictitious town on the south, on the site of uh, Burkittsville, Maryland, from the 18th to 20th centuries. Residents blame these occurrences on the ghost of Ellie Kedward, a Blair resident accused of practicing witchcraft in, the, in 1785 and sentenced to death by exposure. The curse of the Blair witch presents the legends as real, complete with manufactured newspaper articles, newsreels, television news reports, and staged interviews. There were filmmakers who disappeared but their equipment and footage were discovered a year later, then, make it into the, then made it into the movies. What the heck? Hmm. Something different with the information. Now what's the difference? Well, the real one is much more sinister. Once they scream, everything begins to crumble. The witch's scream curse. It's the witch's hollowing curse, actually, which is what you'd heard earlier, just before the lightning started coming down. How are you going to stop it? I, I asked and I slowly got up next to Draveyard. Simple. He raised his hands up to his chest and put them in a position as if he was re ready to clap. I begin to think of a solution and it suddenly clicks. He said the solution is simple. And it's probably not the first thing that people think of or realize being the situation feels overpowering and requires a lot to end. But think about it, when people get angry and scream, the quick, quickest way to stop the problem right then and there? By the, By prayer, the prayer upon thee. To have the sound stop. Secret, Secret technique, technique are the, the wolves. wolves. Dead, Dead echo. echo. He clapped. The lightning stopped instantly. And just like that, all of, the, all of the noise in the night had stopped instantly. 
I blinked several times. That is weirdly surreal. It's like the magic show where a rabbit is inside a hat, and after a single tap it disappears from the hat, but on a far, far grander scale. Wee hoo! Nice. Yeah. Nice. Oof. That was exhausting. What just happened? <laughs> I was like, okay, let me just do a quick episode right now. My throat's a little tired. I want to get into this. And all this just bam, bam, bam. Alrighty then. <laughs> well, if I didn't think that this uh, visual novel could be a cool anime, I, I definitely think so now. Um, but, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it. Oh, look at this little animation thing too. Just like a liar. Yeah, I should probably pay more attention, huh? <laughs> Anywho, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it. Uh, I gotta call it here. Um, I'm gonna try and get this uploaded later this week. Hope you guys have a nice day, a nice evening, a nice morning, whatever it is for you. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye now.